Helping others was always a passion for Matt's teacher, Josephine Chong Lai Fong, who continues to do so now, even after her death. Chong lost her battle to breast cancer on the 10th of January and has donated her body to science under University Malaya Medical Center's Silent Mentor Program. She was given a grand send-off by her loved ones, doctors and medical students along with three other pledges. Her son Jack Chu said the mother of two was an outgoing bubbly lady who always put the needs of others before herself. For herself, she has always been very charitable and then uh, always wanting to uh, benefit other people. Uh, very selfless, I would say. So the moment she saw this and then uh, the first thing that came to her mind is that because she knows that it's coming right at the end and then if she could benefit other people with the body, whatever is left, then she will go for it. Lah. The other silent mentors who donated their bodies to the program were Susan Chow Tu Kian, Chong So Ching and Go Aji. The silent mentor program, which began in March last year, allows members of the public to pledge their bodies to be used for medical training after their deaths. Cadavers are used for a three-day workshop, after which they will be cremated and their remains returned to their families. The program is based on a similar module in Sherju University in Taiwan, which has been practicing the silent mentor program since 1995. Zhe Chu University Vice President Professor Dr. Sen Guofang said the program requires medical students to get to know their silent mentors and their families to cultivate altruism in their practice. In the past, uh, medical school teach students on human body structures uh, basically based on uh, unclaimed bodies, okay, that is uh, people that die on street or at psychic institutes where no families claim for the bodies, okay. But those people, they, they didn't volunteer, you know, uh, to, be, to be dissected mm -hmm. or to be, you know, uh, for medical uh, education. So that's sort of the situation, you know, it was and every university take it uh, granted to use those bodies. But that's not ethical in a sense that uh, when we train medical students, we want them to be caring professionals in the future. UMMC's minimally evasive laparoendoscopic surgery, Miles Training Center Manager, Sia Tam Ng, said 261 people had pledged their bodies to the program as of the 8th of May, while 10 cadavers have already been utilized over the course of three workshops. First thing is the, the kind contribution of the donors, because as far as they are concerned, you know, they actually make use of the residual body after their, their, their death, right? So they make use of the body uh, to benefit the medical student, so that medical student can use cadavers as a learning, uh, learning methodology you see, to learn uh, human anatomy. For more information of the program and how to get involved, people can visit www.silentmentor.org.